Hello, and welcome to our Finnovate Fall 2021 25 and 5 video interview series. My name is David Penn. I'm a research analyst with Finnovate. Joining me today is Nuri Otis. He is the CEO and founder of TechSmarter. Nuri, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. We're very happy to have you back with Finnovate uh, again on the stage uh, live. Uh, and we're very much looking forward to our conversation today. I thought maybe to get things started, you could just say a word or two about your company for those who are meeting TechSmarter for the very first time. Sure. As you know by now, a word or two is not really my style. However, <laughs> uh, so TechSmarter is a company that addresses the very significant changes that occurred in regulatory communication surveillance. And what that means in simple terms is that we are able to archive messages that were are unavailable anywhere else. We're able to access Apple iMessages, which are over 6 trillion messages a day. We access Android, SMS, and MMS. We and access WeChat. We access WhatsApp, uh, sorry, WhatsApp and a bunch of other platforms. Uh, we do it real time. And our process, which differentiates us from all of our esteemed competition, is that we do it real time without data gaps. Mm -hmm. And data gaps are probably the greatest risk to any financial organization. Absolutely. We're going to get an opportunity to talk a little bit more about TechSmarter over the course of our conversation today, but uh, appreciate you just giving us a quick introduction. If you're ready, we'll start the 25 and 5. Let's go. All righty, starting at the top. What's your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Any meal with my family. <laughs> Wonderful answer. Uh, your favorite season of the year? I live in California. We have two. There's... <laughs> fall and maybe two days of winter and then there's everything else uh i love all seasons i love going i'm actually going looking forward to going to new york for this event next month because i'll experience a season that i will not experience in california um, i love the fall walking through central park so uh but it, being in california we don't really have the seasons that we had when I was in college. So I can't really answer that with any degree of honesty because, well, you've been to California, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, what's your favorite vacation spot or getaway? Uh, anywhere with my family. Uh, another good answer. And what would you say is your favorite sport or recreational activity either to watch or to participate in? Uh, either watch or participate. It's basketball and surfing. Ah, basketball and surfing. Interesting. Uh, let's see, it's time to relax. Are you more likely to read a book or listen to music? Uh, probably listen to music while smoking a cigar and having uh, a glass of wine. Wow, not a bad time, it sounds like. Uh, let's see, do you own a smartwatch? I do. All righty. Uh, how about using a robo-advisor for your own personal investing? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, let's see, what's your favorite mode of public transportation? Walking. Mm, an excellent choice. Uh, do you own more in digital assets like Bitcoin or more in physical assets like gold and silver? Physical assets. Physical assets. Uh, without naming names, what does your current bank do right? I can't think of anything they do wrong, so I'll say everything. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there anything you'd like them to do a little bit better, though? Not at all. They're, wow. they're, they're, they're good. Uh, whenever the few times there's an issue, they resolve it very, very quickly. Uh, we had a problem. I went, I went to send uh, some money via Zelle and there was a problem. There was some type of security issue. They asked me to call. I got on the phone. It was resolved in about 90 seconds. And then the transaction went through. So I really can't ask for anything more than that. I don't think asking for more than that would be reasonable. Wow. Well, very impressive work from them. Uh, who would you say is the most inspirational person in technology to you right now? Uh, the same person it's been for a very long time would be Steve Jobs. Definitely high on a lot of people's lists, I'm sure. Uh, what would you say is the best city for technology startups that nobody knows about? Well, uh, everybody knows about everywhere. However, uh, right now, I would say the most interesting ecosystem that's growing is that in Colorado around Denver and Boulder. There's uh, a lot of people that are there. They're doing some fascinating things. Uh, when uh, I was in Boulder last, Google was opening an operation. There were a lot of big companies were going there because of the, the type of people coming out of the uh, Colorado educational system. Mm, very interesting pick. Uh, what would you say is your most unpopular or controversial technology opinion? Uh, that digital currency is a Ponzi scheme and that it's going to blow up in a lot of people's faces at some point. 
I hope I'm wrong, but I don't believe that I am. Wow, wow, that's something to be on the lookout for. Uh, what would you be doing for a living if you weren't involved in fintech? Uh, doing some other startup. Mm -hmm. uh, there, I have another idea for my next one, but that's many years away. So uh, until then, I'm going to stay focused on Tech Smarter because it's something I have a great deal of passion about. Excellent. Well, let's so, uh, join you in that focus. Very big problem. Sorry, I interrupted you. My apologies. We're solving a very big problem. We're addressing a $350 billion a year uh, problem. Excellent. Excellent. Let's talk a little bit more about that. And who do you specifically solve this problem for? Uh, financial institutions, whether it be an investment bank or whether it be a hedge fund, whether it be a broker dealer, whether it be a bank. One of the interesting things about the way that the financial industry has kind of set itself up now is that you've got insurance agents that have, have Series 7 and Series 9 licenses. That, so they sell securities, right? But, so you've got a lot of different people that, that touch this area. And our product, our service is directed at people that, that do interact with the public and have a requirement to archive that information for, depending upon your geography, five to 10 years. Mm. So it's a lot of information to hold on to. It's a lot of information to be able to, to go through so that you can have a good visibility to potential uh, in, inappropriate actions or, or uh, so what I'm looking for, um, the actions, so it wasn't done maliciously. It was done, uh, it was a mistake, an honest mistake, right? But they still have to know about it. Right, absolutely. What would you say is the most unique aspect about your company's technology? Uh, we are the only company that can access iMessage. We're the only company that can access uh, Android SMS and MMS, WeChat and WhatsApp in real time without the need of any containers or secondary phone numbers and things like that. Basically, all you need is your phone and about 15 minutes. And then any organization on a per user basis can go from non-compliant to compliant and can continue to use the discovery and uh, oversight platforms that they currently use. Fantastic. Let's talk about the human side of the equation. What would you say is the most important aspect of building a strong team? Trust. Mm. Unequivocally trust. What would you say is your biggest professional takeaway from the year we just had from 2020? Stay focused, uh, be flexible, continue to watch the environment, continue to push forward. And even when things slow down, you have to know that no matter what, eventually it's mm -hmm. going to change. Eventually it will come back around. Every, every down cycle comes back. And most of the time it comes back in a bigger way. And mm -hmm. eventually we'll get there, whether it's going to be sometime in the next few months of this year or sometime in the first two, one or two quarters of next year. None of, none of us know at this point, but the optics, when you look at numbers, when you look at the stock market, you look at cost of money and everything else, these are all aspects that we consider. And what we're seeing is we're seeing a, a lot of people paying attention to this space because the regulators are now requiring them to, and most organizations are non-compliant with what we do. I believe that. Where do you see your company in the next two to three years? We'll probably be at somewhere between 100 and 150 people. We'll open a, a couple of more offices. We have three now. We'll probably open an office in New York. We'll probably open an office in Asia. And, uh, but we will, it will never stop where a high percentage of our people will be technologists because the, that's what's going to drive our company. We can't get back and we can't get into a situation uh, where we're using technology that's not at the forefront of what's available. That's going to be, that, that is what our customers expect. Absolutely. Let's get back to a few uh, personal questions. Are you a cat person, a dog person, neither, or both? Uh, I love all animals. Uh, however, I'm allergic to cats, but I do <laughs> love, I love cats. Uh, I'm a dog person though. I have two dogs. I have a, an 83 pound two-year-old brindle mutt and I have a uh, seven-year-old, 20-pound pug who's the world's most spoiled dog. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Uh, here's one. If you were a famous artist, would you be more likely a novelist slash writer, an actor slash director, or a singer slash musician? I'm an educated journalist. So for me, everything goes back to writing. It's always been something I've had a great deal of passion about. Fantastic. Uh, what's your favorite holiday of the year? Any holiday with my family, but the direct answer is Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a good one. Uh, what are you looking forward to most in your personal life plans this year, 2021? Being able to start to travel again. You're actually catching me. This is the first trip I've taken in over two years uh, <laughs> in Los Angeles as we speak. Uh, and we're actually going to the Dodgers baseball game. I'll be attending my first Dodger game in, in LA. I've never been to Chavez Ravine before, and it's uh, one of the iconic parks of the United States, and I've always wanted to go, and even though I only live 400 miles away, somehow in 59 years, I've never made it until Friday, and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, that does sound like a fun time. Uh, and speaking of fun times, what's your favorite thing about being a part of Finnovate Fall this year? the people, getting a chance to get to see people again, to talk to people again, to show them how we've grown, to, to hear what their issues are, what can we do to make their lives better? What can we do to make their processes more effective, more efficient, and making sure that we retain, that, that their employees recognize that, what, that everything that we gather is for, with specific purpose, it's completely private, and the only buddy that can access it is going to be the compliance officers that are already listening to their phone calls, that are already listening, or sorry, reading their emails. And this, this is not a big brother situation. What we do is not big brother. This is not a bank saying, hey, uh, hey, Dave, David, you have to do this. Hey, Nuri, you have to do this, right? I don't really usually speak in third person. My apologies. Uh, but <clears throat> this is actually a requirement. The, the FDIC requires this. FINRA requires this. SEC requires this. There are other agencies that requires FCA in London require this. So it's not a bank or any organization that is saying, hey, you got to do this. We want to see what you're doing. It's actually people that have a lot of power who could literally put an organization out of business if the wrong things were not, if the, if the proper things were not done. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much for being a part of our 25 and 5. Thank you guys for joining the net. And also thank you for being a part of Affinitate Fall again. It's an incredible technology. RegTech is one of those areas that's often not talked about as much, but every single person uh, who runs a business is going to have to deal with a lot of these issues. And it's great to have companies that are innovating in ways that are making it easier for them to deal with those issues. So thanks again for being a part of Affinitate Fall. My pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing you next month in New York. You bet. Sounds good.